And this summer, we are getting kids outside. In this video, I just wanted to share with you a resource that is totally optional, but that might help you as you are doing these activities throughout the summer, and that is a nature journal. So in order to help document some of the things that we are doing, things that we are observing on our adventures, I went ahead and created a nature journal for my family, and I want to share it with you. So it's just a PDF that you can download. Um, I'm I made it for myself, but I'm happy to share it with others, so it's totally free. The link is just below. But this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that are in this nature journal so that you can use this to document what you're learning and how you are exploring nature this summer. When you use the nature journal, if you want, you could just grab any notebook. It doesn't have to be something fancy like this. You could just have a camera that you take pictures of what you're doing. Either of those is totally fine. But if you're like me and you kind of like arts and crafts, you might want to have something to help you document what you're doing throughout the summer, a place to draw your pictures and, and to have fun. Um, I want to note that I decided to put mine in a sketchbook. That way I didn't have to cut down the pages at all and it's just a plain black sketchbook that I got from Walmart and we printed out the PDF and we glued each page in. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'll show you a video of me creating mine and also what it looks like having toddlers create one as well. And there are different versions of the pages. So as you can see, this is an about me page. This one is specifically more for toddlers. It's just a big space for them to draw. It asks my favorite outdoor place, my favorite animal, my favorite season, things like that. And you will see the exact same questions asked in a different format on some of the other pages. So this it's the same exact thing except you'll notice there's a place for them to write full sentences and to draw. So depending on the age of your children, you can customize it however fits best for you. Another fun feature that I decided to make is a what's the weather page. Now each of these, actually half of the page is one day, so you can mark the date, the time, the location, and then you can mark the weather and the temperature. Again, you could print out a ton of these and do it every single day, or you could just do it every once in a while or skip this page altogether. It's totally up to you. All of the activities that I am giving this summer are very easy. Going outside picking flowers, looking at what animals are in your yard or around where you live. Very easy. However, all of them can very easily be taken to the next level in terms of educational value. Each of the activities is linked specifically to some sort of STEM based learning. And so you're going to see that in each of the video, I encourage you to take notes and to record observations. So you're going to see those page options in the PDF file. And I created just one of each in the PDF, but then you can print as many copies as you need for each of the activities. So now that I've sort of given you a tour of what you will see in the Nature Journal document, take a look at how I put my Nature Journal together and how my boys decided to assemble theirs. And don't forget to 
personalize it. You know, the fun of this is just plain black. You'll see my boys and I, we each chose a different cover design. I just put my name in some stickers just so that I knew that it was my journal and I could easily tell it apart from the other journals in the house. If you enjoyed this activity this week, please share it with your friends and family, anyone that you know that has kids or any teachers or nannies, anyone that you think might enjoy. Now remember, you probably will not be able to find these videos again just by searching for my name because it's such a small little local project. So if you want to join us every single week going forward, make sure that you hit subscribe and there is a little bell icon that you can push and that will actually notify you when the next activity comes up. Every Every single Friday throughout the summer, I'm going to be posting another very easy, simple STEM outdoor experiment or activity that you can do with your family. Have fun!